I believe the IFM principles are the future for farming business in Africa because our future as Africans is pegged on environment and leaf principles are very environmental friendly with regard to managing the total business. So I believe that leaf will be very, very key driver for a sustainable farming system in Africa. The soil speaks to us. The soil has its own language. The soil that can tell you I'm tired, the soil that can tell you I'm fresh. And so we walk farmers through various farms and various fields and for them to be able to also learn the language of the soil. Continuous cropping, for instance, depletes lots of nutrients and you should know what particular crop follows which other. And therefore, with well-planned rotations, you are able to make sure that you don't overuse the land or nor deplete the soil nutrients. The most basic uh, aspect of, uh, crop, of soil management, and this is through incorporating compost. As we introduce compost, as we introduce uh, organic matter within the soil, then this uh, will be able to revitalize the uh, soil uh, nutritional requirements then it's possible to be able to introduce additional uh, nutrients like the inorganic fertilizers. So you see, from the waste gathered on your farm or from your processing, what you can put it into and then the results it will give you on your farm out of the produce. So for the leaf farmer, composting should always be the best form of reusing the waste created on your farm. There are so many reasons why making map is useful. Where there are water bodies that should be protected and then where there are reserves, the forest reserves. We also have to put buildings on the map. And in the buildings, we know we will know where the chemical stores are, so that we know where any environmental hazard could be, and what things we can do in order to help correct the situation. Pesticides are good, but it is only good when it is judiciously used. But LeafMax sets up uh, management practices that really help reduce the use of agrochemicals. The first thing in crop protection is knowing what your pests are. This is one of the perfect examples of keeping pests away from the crop. This flower is meant to attract drifts from the crop and then they get into this flower. As a vegetable farmer, I have come to be very interested in insects and who eats who. My message is to make life easy for your beneficial insects. You need to know what you have and how you can encourage them to multiply. The decision to spray is done after establishing the direction levels. The first step is to identify when the number is at the right direction. That's when I make the decision to spray this particular crop. My final advice to you farmers, wherever you are in Africa, is that Integrated farm management helps you to reduce the cost of your inputs and you spend less and you get better production. Leaf Mark also encourages record skipping. And in any business where records are not kept, that business flounders. So record keeping form an integral part of LeafMark. The records that every farmer keeps are really important because it helps us to carry out internal audits. These audits helps us to know exactly how good or how bad a farmer is performing. And you can only achieve that with records. Audits, it's a good thing to a farmer or to a grower because if it's a good agricultural practice audit, it helps the farmer to itemize the things he need or she need to improve on, on all areas of production. And it helps the farmer to be efficient in his practices and also to ensure that the farmer 
can access the market because he or she will have met the requirements that the uh, clients demand. It's good to be a pioneer and that's, that's good, breaking new grounds, I have always enjoyed doing that. So I'm quite excited about this because it's a fresh challenge for me to take small-scale farming to a completely different level. And more so also forging relationships with the local schools for school kids to come and uh, learn uh, sustainable farming, especially issues with regard to integrated farm management. Here is the edge of the field, and I let also a lot of plants grow over here. It's a good place for bears, animals, and other creatures like butterflies, insects, a lot. And a lot of these creatures help me as a farmer. There is a stream that brings water from the hillside. I also take good care of it. There is a special forest reserve close by my farm and I don't do anything inside. We don't cut trees, I don't even hunt animals. As a pineapple farmer in Ghana, it is very important for me to take a good care of the environment. Two things you can do to encourage biodiversity. One is to maintain the natural biodiversity that is surrounding the farm. Two is to create new uh, habitat. Let me show you what I've done to maintain the biodiversity. Around here is a, a strip of an eucalyptus. land. It is a source of flowers, grass, and then the wound behind me, and green trees behind me. All these are good components in maintaining a good biodiversity. No matter how much biodiversity you have in your farm, you can always create more. And one method of creating more biodiversity is by planting trees. You can probably tell, I just love biodiversity. And I encourage you, wherever you are farming in Africa, um, to create uh, a good awareness and continue loving biodiversity the way I do. It also looks at ways of controlling energy use on the land. You carry out energy audits to know exactly the various emissions or the uses of energy on the land. For me, as a leaf farmer that I am, the monitoring is continuous. It is not an event. It is a process. Pumping water is expensive. And therefore, we have to cut down on the costs by making sure you use water only when it is needed. Over application of water is not only expensive in terms of electricity usage or power driving the pumps, it also wastes nutrients because the water gets down deeper beyond the crop root zone. Every drop of water counts. Every step in integrated farm management counts. That is what being a leaf farmer is all about. This is my encouragement and advice to you. Wherever you are in Africa and whatever crop you grow, it will be good to be a leaf mark farmer because it will really help you produce economically and also help conserve and enhance our beautiful environment. Thank you.